Hi, my name is Mike Thompson. I'm an illustrator in the Baltimore, Washington area. I've been painting digitally for about 17 years and graduated from the University of Maryland College Park um, with a degree in graphic design. Uh, I made the switch to painter because I really like the organic look of the brushes and uh, it just felt like it was geared more towards artists uh, in general than other software. So um, with that in mind, I'm going to go through uh, my workspace and uh, just show how I pretty much conduct my daily workflow. So let's get started. Okay, so if you look at my setup for illustration here, you'll see that some of the palettes have been uh, closed, some of the default palettes that are open. When you first fire up Painter 12, I close them. Um, the point of that is to just free up as much space as possible for the illustration that you'll be working on as well as whatever reference JPEGs you might want to place on the screen. Um, I like to keep it as open as possible. Uh, you'll see that I have this single um, column toolbar here. There's, uh, I, I generally tend to stay with uh, one paper texture throughout a piece. I don't change that up unless I, I need to get uh, you know, textures on fabric or things like that. But for the most part, I'll just choose the basic paper texture and pretty much stick with it throughout the piece so I don't need my paper textures open. Um, so that's the toolbar. Um, over here, you'll see that I have moved the brushes uh, from the default of being on the left-hand side over to my right-hand side. I do that because I don't want them overlapping my painting while I'm working. It's just distracting. Um, plus, there's so many brushes to choose from that uh, it, it just it becomes more of a hindrance if it's going to pop over my image whenever I need to choose a new brush. Um, for that reason, also, I've gone in and made custom palettes with oil brushes that I tend to use. Um, and these are brushes that I've just kind of built up over the years and earlier iterations of Painter and, and, and they just really work out for me. I also have my pencils um, that, uh, that I go to early on in my, in my rough stages before I present to a client, I, I submit pencils, and these are the ones that I use. I, I, I rarely even draw on paper anymore, just because it saves me so much time to get my thoughts down right on the screen uh, and make quick edits and, and, and then just turn it over to the client. So that's pencils. And then I have my essentials. Uh, the essentials palette are the brushes that I use for the heavy lifting of my illustrations. Um, more often than not, I'll go to my oil pastels and, uh, and my scratchboard tool. Uh, those are the, the big ones that I use for most of my illustration. And then I go in with the Just Add Water or the Pointed Stump to do blending. Alright, so next you'll notice something that's new to Painter 12, and that is the new Navigator. Uh, I'm a big fan of the new Navigator. So let's make it a little bigger, and I'll show you why. Uh, open up a piece that I did a while ago. All right, Mr. Bernie Madoff. So, figure he's enjoying himself in jail now for 150 years, and uh, rocking some new jail tats. So that was my illustration here. What I like to do when I paint is get in really close. So I used to have to do that by holding down my, my key commands on the keyboard or on my Wacom tablet, uh, you know, scrolling in. Now I've got a navigator that I can see. Zoom in, zoom out, rotate. set and the great thing about this is that I can make it as large as I want and essentially have a macro view at any time so wherever I work on the screen 
I can always have a sense of how the painting is working as a whole, which is great. Zoom in, let's make a new layer. <clears throat> and let's say I want to work these eyebrows a little bit more. Let's uh, get some color on our brush. And just start Start working in some of the strands. And this is what I'll do for hours and hours. I'll just go in and paint a bunch of stuff that never reproduces when I actually go to print, but I know it's there. And at any time, I can tell how it looks in the big piece. So, very helpful, very welcomed addition. And that is the Navigator. Okay, the next thing that uh, we'll see in the Illustration Workspace is the color palettes. Um, just go over them real quickly. The color set library is just pre-made color swatches um, that you can use. Uh, I personally mix my own colors using the color wheel. And uh, that's right here and then save them in my mixer palette. Um, and these colors that I have on the mixer palette here are just ones that I've built over time that I tend to go back to again and again. A lot of skin tones, since I do a lot of portrait work. Let's make them bigger so we can see what we got on here. And uh, increase the size. So, you know, you can see these, um, and uh, so that's the mixer. Uh, below that are my layers and my channels, and I always like to have those open. Um, channels, I don't use quite as much as layers, but uh, just having them grouped together seems to make uh, make sense, and so. Um, that is the workspace.